Good morning. Hello. 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 Good morning. Perry here. Glad to have you here, Perry. Yeah, thanks, sir. One second. Usually it takes a few minutes for us to get going first thing here. So um, that's right, I was going to go bring up the board. A few more minutes for everyone to turn up. Oh, Artem, by the way, thank you so much for reviewing the document I sent on the WireGuard stuff yesterday. I'm glad that it makes sense to you. Uh, yeah, uh, I see the document. Uh, thank you for new proposals. Uh, and it looks very good to me. OK, so I, I think probably right now the more urgent item is getting the uh, various public cloud things working and tracking down the issue with GK to see what we can figure out there. Um, but I wanted to make sure since you, you had written the original WireGuard code and you did quite a good job of it. Um, I wanted to make sure that, that it, it didn't, I have risen off in some weird left field. Um, so, and, and as it turns out, I didn't actually so much need to change the API as just rework a little bit of, of some of the niceties and loosen a few things up a bit. Um, so, and, and the other really nice thing about this is that it means that the, L3 cross connect will end up working exactly the same way for WireGuard as it does for everything else. So, which is always a nice thing. Hi, Ed. Hi, Tim. Hello. Good morning, Vlad. I I've seen in the reviews that you and Perry are getting along famously. Yeah, last two days, like we have been having reviews on my code, yeah. This is fantastic. And, and and I appreciate you picking up a shovel on all that, Perry. It'll it'll get all of this done quite a bit better. And quite frankly, like especially the PRs that you're pushing right now, you're 100% right. You know, those things should have been an SDK and SDK kernel from the, from the beginning. They just sort of wound up in SDK BPP because that's where I was working on it, so. Okay, okay, yeah. Um, maybe when yeah. we are going to work with multiple forwarders, then we will figure this out. Like that. Well, the, the really nice thing about it is that because everything is so modular, um, it becomes fairly easy. Um, it becomes fairly easy to go back and move them around like that, um, if need be. Yeah. So. Yes, true. Cool. All right, so we're about five after. Let's go ahead and get going. Uh, anything that folks want to discuss before I share the project board? All right, then. Hi, everyone. Morning, Denise. All right, so let me actually broaden this out a little bit. So I, I don't recall if you've, you've attended these meetings before, Perry. But, but amusingly, we end up working from left to right because sometimes when you change things um, on the right, they move to the left. On the, on the left, they move to the right, and we don't want to have to review them twice. So we'll start with um, open questions. Um, so the connect client and heal client monitor fail in different times. Um, I saw this. Let's see, actually. I saw this open this morning. I, guess, I haven't had a chance to look at it yet. 
the case. So please look at this. <laughs> no, absolutely. And and I failed to note the ASAP tag, or I would have. I, I I've been trying to go through my notifications every morning, um, and and be a little bit better about responding to them. But I was running a little late getting going this morning. Um, Add waiting for the monitor updates. This one just relates to the issue. So it's one of two pairs. Okay, so those two go together. Yeah. Uh, discover behavior and pass through scenario. Oh, well, today we found that uh, changes in API are actually not necessary. And uh, we made some fix. Oh, this is the long discussion that we've been having on this. And yes, yes. Uh, well, we added a small timeout for uh, when Discover tries to find new NSEs. Uh, we added a small timeout after the timeout. If it won't found any, it will go further uh, to the next um, match. Um, I, I want to go take a look at that. Ti timeouts make me extraordinarily nervous. Um, well, I think I will push changes tomorrow. So I will. So the, the, the timeouts, the thing is, what you're describing is a set of timeouts that will really strongly encourage increased latency. Um, and, and so we don't, I think. So is the, is the problem that you're dealing with the fact that since Find is streaming, you can't necessarily know when you've gotten everything yet, um, you, you can't tell how, how long you should loop over the find. Um, is that the situation or is it just, well, let's take uh, this to the thread here. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm very nervous about adding timers to the system because as you accumulate timers, number one, they add latency and number two, you start to get very strange interactions between them. So I'm very reluctant to add timers. Sometimes it is the right thing, but, 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 I'm very reluctant to do so. Okay, then I'll describe it in the that uh, thread. Uh, yep. So, all right. No, but, but overall, like this is a really good catch um, on this issue, and 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 I, I very much appreciate you guys sitting at it. Um, so, there's an open question on continuous update t testing. Is this the overall question on? The release stuff. Oh yep. Uh, so the general, uh, the main question is, uh, can we go with this proposal? Um, I, I think this proposal or some forward evolution of it is probably the direction we need to head in, um, and I, I think it's probably most productive. Um, the, the the things that I, the nits that I would want to pick about it are most productive to pick within the context of the release repo itself. If, does that make sense? Um, yep, sure. So, um, you know, which is my way of saying, like, my brain thinks of all kinds of little issues around this, but they're all easily resolvable and debatable, and we should just generally head in that direction, and we'll sort it out. Okay. Uh, so then we can uh, move this issue to to do. Yes, that's a good idea. Uh, da -da -da. Yeah, <clears throat> please note, I don't know that we'll get to continuous update testing for this release, but I think we will need the release repo for this release. So it's sort of preparation for that. Okay, got um, it. Yeah. So decompose WireGuard modifications in VPP. Um, this is actually a wonderful time for me to add the link to the document I put together there. Um, uh, okay, yeah, uh, thank you very much. I so, think we um, can move it to 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 do this. Uh, that's also going to in, in in progress. I think in progress. List. Oh, it's in progress. Have you started on yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, I did not realize you started on it. Okay, cool. Hang on. Let me move this over then to in progress. Fantastic. Um, and, and the other thing is. I think what you'll find is if you look at it, it, it makes it very easy for you to add the IPv6 support as well. Because I know that you would hit a weird cross address family fib problem 
trying to add it before, but I think it's relatively easy with these changes. Um, uh, yeah, I saw your comments and fortunately uh, cross uh, AF doesn't work, IPv6 over IPv4 and IPv4 over IPv6 encapsulation don't work. And yeah, I think we need to create patches based on your uh, new proposals uh, for improvement before IPv6 merging. Yeah, no, I agree. So, so basically, if you go do this this first, then um, we can go actually do that. Actually, I, I apologize. I said something earlier that I probably want to correct. Um, since you've already started on the WireGuard modifications in VPP, um, it is probably the case that that's higher priority than the fixing the GKE stuff, um, because we need to have something that handles IP payload types that's a remote mechanism. And it would be good for that to be the WireGuard stuff. So um, if you could make the, the WireGuard modifications. So is there something you've got going right now that you think you need to wrap up before you make the WireGuard modifications your top priority? Artem? Uh, 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 could you please uh, uh, repeat the, the question? Ah, so. Um, is there something you feel you should wrap up before you make the WireGuard modifications in VPP your top priority? Uh, now I'm working on GKE and uh, the next uh, is uh, WireGuard. Uh, yep, oh. okay. So I, I would suggest that that the WireGuard stuff is, is more urgent than the GKE stuff. Oh, okay, but, okay. But the, the, the reason I make the comment is uh, everybody works a little bit differently. And some people, sometimes you're just so close to the solution on a thing that even though there's a higher priority item, you should just finish the thing if it's not taking very long. And if GKE is in that place, I leave that to your discretion because I trust your judgment. Sound good? Yeah, okay. All right, excellent. Uh, mechanism preferences doesn't work when NSC and NSC are in the same worker node. Um, Oh, this is this yeah. is when you opened Perry, correct? Uh, yes, uh, like uh, actually, I, like I tried with uh, SRIOV forwarder, like uh, mm -hmm. on single node cluster. So there, like we don't have support for uh, endpoint. So it, the client it, it's, a, it's a little it's a little weird to me though on a single node cluster. Um, so the, the the thing I'm confused about, and, and maybe you're seeing something I'm not, is if I'm using the SRIOV forwarder. Um, you're talking about having um, a client and a server sitting on the same node, but communicating yes. to each other over SRIOV. So you, yeah, that is correct. Uh, yeah, yeah. So basically, the, the client gets an SRIOV plumbed into it, and it sends yeah. that packet out that all the way up to the the top of rack switch, which then sends it back down to the other SRIOV for the NSC. No, no, basically, maybe in this case, uh, both uh, endpoint and client are sharing, sharing the same PF, uh, like which means it will like just sharing the same the, what? It, it will just get the VF from the same PF device, same pool. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you're expecting that it'll be, so you're, you're looping. So yeah, basically you're getting the VF from the same PF, but it's still, yeah. it's still a little bit weird because if you're getting it from the same PF, even if the PF is smart enough to loop those two together, yeah. you're still yeah, traversing I, the PCI bus. Yeah, I think it will loop through the packet uh, with the PF. That's what I think. But uh, but even though like uh, even with no op uh, mechanism preference, like we mm -hmm. have support only for a remote class, not for the local class. So I think that is where we saw this problem, right? Like like in the, okay. the SRA forwarder, like when it sends the service request. So basically we are just sending with the mechanism preferences remote. Right, but it is a remote class because you're getting it from something that is off node. Yeah, and, and the type is not uh, kernel here, kernel or SRIOV, it's just a no-op. Okay, so, yeah, yeah, so it's, it's, type, it's type no-op. Yeah. 
Yes. Okay. Yes. So let, let, let's 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 keep this let's revive this conversation on the um, on the um, on the thread in the the issue because I'm I'm still not quite following. Um, but I, I feel like there's that you you've got something in mind that I'm not quite grasping. So let, let's let's definitely continue the conversation there. Okay. Does that sound right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Sir. No problem. Yeah. We can keep it open. Cool. Yeah. Um, and use monitor stream for canceling client connection. It's the same for the top issues. Of the okay, place. that's fine. All right, cool. Reviews in progress. Rework registry refresh for serialized context. It's under review, I guess. Okay. So we don't support a, a serialized now in registry refresh, and it's incorrect. <laughs> so it's no, I, 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 I had seen that go by when I went through and reviewed it, it looked reasonable to me and it looked like it was getting good review from other people. So I more or less left it alone. So um, the WireGuard IPv6 support, um, that's that, that we've talked about. VXLAN GP port mapping, I need to get somebody to go take a look at that uh, in the because it's a bidding on a VPP patch. Uh, NSC composite some sandbox test, composition sandbox testing. Um, oh, as I know, uh, Mikhail is working with this issue. Uh, Mikhail, could you please uh, provide your status? Uh, yes, um, I'm adding the three case scenario and it's related to the question. It's been related to the question about behavior in the through scenario, actually, that is where I found this um, sort of problem. Uh, mm -hmm. And I think tomorrow will be, I, I will um, uh, commit new changes with this small. Uh, so uh, actually it is in progress. Yes. It is okay, in progress. cool. All right. Uh, the add VLAN, VNI server and service client chain elements. Um, when I last looked at this, this looks like it's getting good review. Uh, sound about right to you, Perry? Is there anything you need there? Yeah, uh, right now I'm just writing unit test cases. So maybe once that is done, I think. Fantastic. Oops, uh, um, <clears throat> awesome. And then um, I put as you do a few issues around the, the Golang CI Lint um, stuff, I think, as well. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah, you'll, you'll I, 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 we live have... very aggressively. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I have corrected uh, those uh, lint issues. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, no, we we, we lint very aggressively. Um, I, I at least you have come to really like it actually because it, it caches a bunch of stuff. Okay. Um, moving SDK VPP connection context kernel to SDK kernel. Um, when I last poked my head over the wire, that was also getting pretty good review. Um, and it's still, yeah, still, uh, yeah. Okay. So we'll, we'll take a look at I, that and see. Yeah. I think it has to go through a couple of review cycles. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right. Uh, topology where scale from zero. Oh, uh, here, as I know, uh, we have provided PR and, uh, -huh. uh as I know, uh, you looked at this PR and you provided uh, and, your comments. And, and I was just oh. about to look at it again because there had been some response to all of that. And I, I took a quick glance this morning, but hadn't fully processed it. So got it. Cool. Um, all right, on um, in inject rename support with client implementation. Um, yeah, we have PR raised for this issue. Yep. And okay. And I, I see that it's getting review currently. Yeah. And yeah. Vlad is good with it. So I'll try and take a, another look over it. Um, but normally, Vlad is a more fastidious uh, code reviewer than I am. So usually, okay. if he's happy, okay. um, we're, we're, we're moving in the right direction. Um, so, Ethernet context and IP context clients. Yeah, 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 even for this, we have PR raised. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, 
more device plugin server info into common repo. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I will work on this at like I need to create one PR for this. Okay. So that so that we'll be moving the device plugin server into SDK Kubernetes. So that I'll maybe tomorrow okay. I will raise another PR. Yeah, and, and Vlad, you're you're sort of commenting on this um, as we go. Um, at the very highest level, it, it seems like a reasonable thing to me. Um, I haven't really looked at or wrapped my head around the details personally. So, but I presume that they're very clear in your mind, Vlad. Yes, yes, yet like, uh, yeah, I know okay, like cool. what to do for this year. Cool, cool. Uh, do you have thoughts on this, Vlad? You you expressed some concerns in the review, but I, I couldn't tell if you were sort of saying, "Hey, there's a problem," or that looks like a lot of work. Thoughts, Vlad? Uh, I don't think that it would take a lot of work. So yes. Yeah, hey, just okay. moving the code into SDK Kubernetes. That's all. Okay, very cool. <clears throat> um, implement resource pool client. Yeah, just today I raised uh, one PR. So uh, with the initial commit, maybe you can well, just so, have a look. So this PR is in SDK SRIOV? Yes, yes, said, yeah. Oh, add a research pool client chain element. Okay. Got it. Oh, can you please add me to reviewers here? Yep. yep. Oh, thanks. There we go. <clears throat> cool. And the move VXLAN BNI server to API repo, I think this is actually in progress. Cool. Anything else that we're missing from your side, Perry? Yeah, that's all yet, like right now, yeah. Cool. Um, so GKA remote test fails. Uh, thank you for opening this. So this is a weird one. Uh, you're basically, it, it, you, you, I know you've looked into this artem and we're now getting test failures when we are running in host network on GKE. I haven't had a chance to look at the logs, but uh -huh. It's it's a little bit strange. Uh, yeah, it's very strange, but uh, I think uh, I found the direction. Uh, it is related to our entries. Uh, if you remember, we added only neighbors in forward initialization that have a permanent state. Uh -huh. uh, but if we will add all of them, not only permanent, it will be okay for GKE. That's super interesting. Do we know why? Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, if you could include a little bit more in here about what you're finding with the non, the neighbors that are in state that is not permanent, um, that would be very, very helpful um, to understand. Um, uh, do you need uh, locks for the for that. No, not logs, but so you, you say that what you said is that you found, like it would be useful, for example, to see like the output of IP neighbors on the GKE node in host networking to see sort of like what's there that you think we need to pick up that is not in state permanent. Yeah. That, that's the thing I'm trying to understand because for, for the, the reason I'm saying this is, if you're talking about neighbor entries that are resolvable via ARP, right? VPP is perfectly capable of ARPing for those things itself. Uh, and so long as there's somebody to respond to that ARP, then you're good. Um, it's possible that things are in some other state that is not the result of a transitory ARP uh, that we may want to look into. And that, that's kind of what I'm getting at. So. Yeah, just like a dump of the IP neighbors uh, on the node to see which our countries are missing would be super helpful there. But that's a good catch. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um, <clears throat> Heal doesn't update restored endpoint name. Uh, this I think is part of the ongoing saga around consistency and naming. Uh, and yes. I saw your enable restore NSC name PR this morning, and I haven't fully wrapped my head around it, Vlad. So, 
So it's not probably quite ready, but I'm working on this in this direction. Okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> so NSC composition, we talked about VXLIN BNI, we talked about um, WireGuard modifications, we talked about uh, clock library to enhancement testing. That's blocked. So, yep, yeah, actually, this uh, two blocked uh, issues. Uh, they are blocked by uh, uh, issue with uh, in open questions as of one. So just waiting for this to be merged. So uh, it's blocked on, on, on which issue? Uh, issue top one in open questions. In open questions, top one about- Oh, connect client, client deal and, and client yes. monitors. Okay, yes. so, thank, so, you for, thank you for bringing that to my attention. That, that definitely raises the urgency of that a great deal. Let me capture that link real quick so I can add it to the top of my pile for after calls this morning. All right. <clears throat> All right, so that's good to know. So that's blocking up. Those are blocking several things there. Um, okay, so those are blocked. Interdomain support. How is the interdomain support going? Please. Uh, it's uh, going good. Uh, I have updated uh, SDK for new approach. And, uh, but I, I also found uh, yesterday a problem with uh, testing uh, interdomain uh, with real cluster providers uh, mm -hmm. because uh, we are not using uh, DNS in a monorepo actually. So uh, I guess uh, we'll need to spend a, a time to investigate how to set up public DNS for uh, our mm -hmm. clusters. So, but uh, uh, it can be uh, completed separately or mm -hmm. uh, after we have completed interdomain for uh, kind clusters. For uh, mm -hmm. kind to kind clusters, we could just set up uh, two uh, coordinate servers to each other and uh, then it will work. Uh, I also will, will test this. So uh, okay. after we'll achieve uh, kind to kind, we can uh, look at uh, set up uh, public DNS for uh, other clusters. Okay, excellent. <clears throat> um, the destructive detail chaos testing, this is all the heel stuff that you're working on, Vlad. Other than the things we've discussed so far, is there anything there that you want to uh, talk about? No, actually just working on this. There are a lot of things working on this, so just working. Okay. Um, <clears throat> then bouncing back as I'm trying to put the interdomain stuff together. Um, so floating interdomain, I presume, is, is oh, coming up is after interdomain? It is also in progress with interdomain. Uh, I guess those uh, two things will land it uh, mm -hmm. together. Got it. Uh, interdomain sandbox testing doesn't work without oh, query uh, cache. It is fixed with a uh, new uh, stream of uh, registers and requests that okay. we discussed. Got it. Um, we don't have anyone to talk about the iperf examples. Um, making package sandbox usable in Docker tests. I... Just just waiting for some box changes. And so. Okay, got it. Um, we group the destructive chaos testing cards together. Um, packet setup is unstable. Is packet setup still unstable? You, it's showing it's blocked. What's blocking us? Uh, no, it's not actually unstable. I guess we're just waiting for it to fail again or for packet support team to make some decisions on this. Okay, uh, so basically... I, I, I know packet is already uh, failed, so I guess we can just report this. Okay, that would be very helpful. Um, so uh, if you hadn't happened to be along for this before, uh, Perry, we, we have a couple of boxes set up in packet for doing testing with SRAOV, but because it requires special bio settings, they're actually not dynamically allocated boxes. They're a set of reserve boxes. And the, the, the great thing about packet is that because you're just dynamically grabbing boxes, if something happens with one of them, you don't care, you just grab another one. And that's fine, but when you've got special boxes, it's not as fine. 
So, okay. Okay. And, and so occasionally packet testing will fail, not because anything went wrong with testing, but because we said, hey, packet, please go give us, go clean this server and give it back to us. And it doesn't quite work. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Uh, NSC composition testing. How is that going? It's in progress now with some box tests by okay. Okay. Okay, and we've, we've got some open questions we're discussing about uh, some of the nits there, which is really good. Um, add test of choosing endpoint create during request. Oh, uh, it's related to uh, scale uh, from zero. Uh, ah, we got it. Covered mm -hmm. this by uh, tests on the SDK level. Got it. Uh, we've got this about GKE doesn't support IPv6 by default. Um, uh, I think you had I, mentioned, Arden, that this has been fixed now? Uh, it, it's blocked uh, now by um, remote tests uh, failed. Ah, OK. So um, so basically, we think we've, we fixed this, but we can't tell because of the other issue that came up with the neighbors. Uh, yeah. OK. Got it. Um, on idle chain element into command and see responder and cover it by Docker tests. Um, this I think is going pretty well. I think I just merged the changes to on idle. Um, the, the, the nice thing about this, by the way, is that I think it will <clears throat> make it very easy to enable um, any NSC to be a scale from zero NSC. So excellent work. Um, NSC composition migrate ACL from mono repo oh, yeah, for the composition piece. It's, it's to, the, to the Yep, got it. Implement initial version of uh, command NSC supplier K8s is also, and that's that's just the, uh, just to bring you up to date. Oh, oh my goodness, we're late for the community meeting. Uh, go jump over there. See you there. Okay, see you.